Good morning, viewers, Kingdom Saints, subscribers. I just want to touch up on a topic that um, scriptures hit me this morning. Uh, seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, righteousness, and the rest will be added to you. This scripture really, really plays heavy on my mind right now because I got a call last week from my brother in Christ and he told me that there's two people that are interested in going out with me to uh, D.C. because they, he, he knows them from Maryland. They preach in Maryland, they're, they're Hispanic and they don't talk English. They don't speak English at all. So they uh, mostly what? preaching Spanish to the Spanish community in Maryland. But he told me that they wanted to go to D.C. But they don't know any place in D.C. where they don't know D.C. at all. So I, he t I told him, hey, give him my number. We're talking. Well, uh, last week we went, out, we went out to Columbia Heights. I posted it on, uh, on my channel. And uh, it was Brother Edgar and his friend and me. And uh, we, we preached the uh, gospel in Spanish because that's the Spanish area. So he said he wanted to come out and do it again. You know what I'm saying? So that's two more added to our ministry. And also, yesterday, my brother in Christ called me and said he's got some more people that want to come out that he met at the mall where he goes. He goes to this mall where he lives. And um, he said there's Hispanics preaching the gospel over there and he asked them if they wanted to preach the gospel in DC but they told him that they didn't they don't know DC so I told him to give give them my number and uh, we talked yesterday and they want to come out this week this Wednesday will probably be going out so it's just the, the two that we added last week and the the uh, the one that I talked to yesterday and his and his entourage, so it's going to be maybe five or six of us out there this time at Columbia Heights preaching the gospel, either Wednesday or Friday. I haven't decided what day yet, but uh, God is good all the time, and all the time, God is good. So uh, we also had a talk a small talk about getting discouraged and running this race and not giving up because we're not on our time we're on the Lord's time you know what I'm saying and the blessings that we want financially physically the blessings that we need we don't get it right away but I do know that the Lord is going to provide. He always does. And we just can't give up. You know what I'm saying? Um, 19 Corinthians 16, 13 says, Be on your guard. Stand firm in the faith. Be courageous. Be strong. We just have to keep on fighting this fight and running this race until Jesus comes and we give him a warm embrace when we see him face to face and he takes us to the heavenly place. You feel me? We just got to stand strong and, and not give up. You know, um, 2 Timothy 2, 7 and 8 says, I have fought the good fight. I have finished the race. I have kept the faith. Now there is in store for me the crown of righteousness, which the Lord, the righteous judge, will award me, will award me on that day, and not only to me, but also to all who have longed for his appearing. You know, because we already know that. Jesus said, I have overcome death, and so shall you. We have overcome death. Death doesn't exist. O oh, death, where is thy sting? That doesn't exist to us because we know we have eternal life and that's the eternal joy and happiness and the longing for that we strive on each and every day knowing that we're going to be with our Lord Jesus knowing that we're going to be because we already know the outcome of our if we will have continued in our past life 
if we were still in the world, we already know the outcome and our destination. And to be honest with you, that really frightens me. That really frightens me. I didn't know about it back then. I really didn't care. If I didn't know, I didn't care about it. I was just living my life doing what I wanted to do. But I had to break up. Jesus brought me out of that I, I, I mentality. You know, because it's not about me. It's about Jesus. It's all about Jesus. Uh, let me give you another scripture. Philippians 4, 13, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Hebrews 10, 39, but we do not belong to those who shrink back and are destroyed, but to those who have faith and are saved. Amen? So, you know, we got to fight this good fight because... It's worth it. Believe me, it's worth it. And you know, times are going to get harder. We're going to be persecuted, hated. But we just have to persevere and stand strong in our faith and finish this race. Am I right about it? Okay. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit the like button. Thanks for watching. Love you all. Record.